Hey crafters, it's me Jen Evers with Quality Crafts and today I want to talk to you about a, le a line of stamps by Lisa Peters called Sensational Stamps. And this is the new DT that I'm on. I'm super excited about it. She's got these awesome little critters and animals and people and different kind of things that she has and they have super really fun sentiments that go along with them. And I'm going to create a card for you today. I'm going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I put it together. I've got all of the pieces ready to go so let's get started. Okay, so here are all the pieces that I have. I pre-colored them ahead of time. <clears throat> I've got enough to make a little scene on here. And I've gone ahead and made a circle card. And I used most of most of the pieces I've cut out, I used my Cameo, except for the animals. These are her digis that I colored in. And then I fussy cut those out by hand. And I did one white circle to go on the top. And so that's where I'm gonna create my scene. So I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to go ahead and put like a background like I almost want like maybe a sky and a little bit of green at the bottom. So I'm going to move all this stuff out of the way. I'm going to pull out my e-brush machine and I'll show you how that works. Now this machine makes quite a bit of noise. I use it on the high setting. All I do is put my Spectrum Noir marker into it. And then I press this button to make the air shoot out. It goes across the marker and makes a nice spray across the paper. I have it contained in a box. See if I can show you kind of the edges here so that it doesn't spray all over my computer and things that I've got laying around here. So I'm going to turn it on. It's going to be noisy. and that created the sky. I've got a nice light blue shading over there. I'm going to pull this marker out and then I'm going to put in a green marker. If you um, do decide to want to use the e-brush, make sure that your Spectrum Noir markers are the ones that are kind of round that um, have all the sides to them. This is the one that fits in there. The regular square ones don't fit, unfortunately. I have a lot of both, but here's a square one for comparison. Okay, these ones that are just completely square, those just don't work. They don't fit in there. So let's do the grass next. Alright. Now obviously the longer you hold it down and the more you spray the darker your color will be. I've got a nice little gradient of blue and green on there and I'm happy with that. The next thing I'm going to want to do is try to figure out what my placement is going to be on the card and how I want that to look. So I'll decide where I want that green grass to kind of end up and then where I want the tree and stuff and how many animals I want on there. I'm not going to use all the animals today. Most likely I'll, I'll use a couple. I really want to use this cute little log. That would be really neat. And then maybe have somebody on there. I love this hedgehog. So maybe have him standing on there in front of the tree. And then I'm going to add some of this stuff and, you know, some of the grass pieces. And I might color up some of the grass pieces to make them so that they're not so, so light. I have one idea for the tree that I want to show you. But I'm going to go ahead and commit to laying down this first layer. I'm not going to glue all the way to the very, very edge, only because if I want to tuck some stuff underneath there later, I can. I don't quite want it there. I want to turn it just slightly. There we go. Okay. So with the tree, what I want to do is I want to cut out each layer like this right along this mark. Once that's done, I want to take a black 
marker. This is completely up to you. But I like to keep that line on the outside really, really black. So that all that white that showed from us cutting it isn't there. Some of this might be covered up, but just in case, I'm going to go through and color the edges of that one. And the edges of this bottom one as well. And what I'm going to do is make this into kind of a 3D looking tree. Because I know that I want that one for sure to be on the side here. But now what I'm going to do is overlap them slightly. Instead of putting them directly together like puzzle pieces, I'm going to overlap them. And I'm going to put an extra piece on each layer of the foam tape. This is the foam tape that I use. So this one is going to go straight down. And then the next layer is going to be just slightly, I don't want to over, over, layer, over layer it a lot because you're going to end up with a really short, tiny, <laughs> funny looking tree. So I definitely want to um, just over overlap it a bit, if that makes sense. And these scissors that I'm using, they're from Fiskars and they're nonstick scissors, so that's what I'm using to cut this foam. You don't want to just use a regular pair of scissors, although you can, but you'll be cleaning off that sticky quite a bit. So there's the foam. We're going to layer this first layer just slightly over the top of where that second one was. And then because that's pop dotted um, up that much, this next layer is going to need two. So I'm going to put down one. Oh, I'm off. I'm sorry. I'm out of frame there. Let me move over. I put down one layer, and I'm going to put down another layer right on top. So that's a double layer, and then that'll pop that above this one. And then I'm going to slightly overlap that. And then you end up with a really nice pop dotted tree that looks three dimensional adds a little bit of flair to your cards super cool really I really like that okay oh I stopped for a second because I heard something outside we're having kind of a winter storm here and um it must be somebody must be uh snow snow uh, blowing where do I want to put this I want to put it behind that guy like maybe right there that looks like a really good spot right there that looks cool I'm gonna go ahead and lay that one down a lot of my cards I just kind of make up as I go sometimes I do like totally make up the idea completely ahead of time this one I knew the things I wanted to use but I didn't have an exact plan I really want this little guy. I want this stick part to show, so I'm going to um, put him on the log, but kind of over the tree a little bit, and I definitely want to pop dot him up so that he shows. Now, this stuff is really thin. I don't know if you can tell like how thin that is, but there's no worries in nailing this one if I double it up, so I'm not worried about doing that. I can totally double this up and it will still mail just fine. There are some that are super thick that I don't know that I would do that with. But it just so happened that this one really is super thin. I love his little pink cheek. Can you see how his little cheek is a little pink? That is such a cute image. I totally love it. And when you take her images and you add them together like this, oh, the little things that, the scenes and the things that you can come up with are just adorable. Totally adorable. And then you can just add all this grass. Anything that you want. You can put it behind there. Oh, that's really cute. I'm going to do that. And one of the things that I said that um, I would do is take, like, a green marker. I think this one's really dark. Let's see if we can find a smaller, or I mean a lighter shade. So you don't want to overpower the grass, but you just want to add kind of like the tree. You know, you want to add some highlights and lowlights just so that it looks more realistic. I mean, it's not going to look real since it's cartoony, but I think you get what I mean when I say that. 
Yeah, somebody is snow blowing. It's still snowing here today. We're supposed to be getting um, anywhere from 3 to 10 inches since yesterday. I don't know how much we have now. Maybe, maybe 5 inches or so. Hard to tell with all the blowing. Well, there we go. And now you can tell that that grass sticks out a little bit more with the color of that. And let's add this one. Oops. And I'm letting that go right over the top of that little hedgehog because it makes it look like he's standing on that log, like really in the grass. It's super fun. Her stamps are just so fun to play with. The images themselves are so wide open for you to add your own creativity. Like this bear is like just, he just is an outline of a bear. And all the little touches that you can add of your own and make him any different way that you want is just so much fun. I will have all of her links to her store where you can get these images and stuff in the description box below. So make sure to look for that. I think I want to put one more, yeah, maybe down there. That looks good. So you just kind of, kind of play around with it and decide where you think it looks good. Making cards and stuff is just, there's no right or wrong, which is super fun. Oh, and I have some clouds laying around. I might add the clouds to that, see if I can find them. I've got two punches of clouds. One's a little teeny tiny cloud and one's a big cloud. And every once in a while, when I do a scene card, I might throw a little couple of clouds in there. So I've got, yeah, I've got a couple of them here. Let's see. Cute. You don't always want to put the whole cloud on. Sometimes you want to just cut it and just put a part of a cloud on for that kind of effect. That's super cute. I think I'm going to go with that. You can add some gray to that too and make them look more like 3D and stuff. Totally up to you. I may add that later. I'm not sure. Cute. I've got a couple of other little fun things that I thought I might add. I've got some of these, and this is a punch. I didn't use the cameo for that one, so you can buy that kind of a punch. And I'm going to add just a little bit of greenery around it. It's, an, it's another color of green added in. And that makes it look really cool. I've got another one here. Just want to decide where would be a good placement for that. Maybe coming up from behind that little guy. Whoops, stuck to my finger. I think I'm gonna not, I'm gonna take the glue off that and let that kind of just pop up off the page. Give a little more dimension there. And then because I've used quite a bit on this side, I'll most likely will put the sentiment on the inside. And I had some more leaves. I always have extra leaves and things cut out ahead of time that I just hold on to so that when I do this kind of um, card that I don't have to cut every single time. So a lot of these grasses and things I will hold on to. These little guys I'll hold on to for another card. So that's a sneak peek for next time. And then I'm going to do a happy birthday sentiment on the inside of this one. I'll probably put another white on the inside and then I'll do the happy birthday. But just for today, I wanted to show you how I put together um, a scene card and how all the pieces fit together and how I used the sensational stamp sets from Lisa Peters. I hope you enjoyed this. Come back again for another tutorial in my next video and I'll see you next time.